welcome to a new segment I want to call uh, True Commentary, where I'll be talking about a whole different array of topics in the gaming community, shit that's going on personally. Um, I know a lot of people wanted to see GTA 5 videos. I'm not that good with a Rockstar editor at all. I'm be coming out with a montage as far as a kill montage suit. I really got to get back into playing GTA 5 again. Shit was real fun, but I get really competitive and free roam for some fucking reason. I don't know why. But <clears throat> today I want to really just talk about Rainbow Six Siege and all the bullshit that's surrounding it. And the reason why I called this video Operation Stop Bitching. So the reason why it's called Operation Stop Bitching is because Ubisoft decided to push back all the DLC <clears throat> that Rainbow Six Siege is getting just by three months to fix a whole bunch of technical issues, matchmaking errors, glitches, bugs, you know, all the usual bullshit that we've been reporting over social media or directly to Ubisoft. <clears throat> so let's just jump right into it. <clears throat> oh, be forewarned, this is my first commentary in years, so it's a little, little weird getting back in the saddle <clears throat> as far as post gay commentary. So, the footage you're looking at, I go 17 and 1 on some, I uh, think, on Crossfire on Modern Warfare Remastered. Reason why I'm kind of, you know, using Modern Warfare Remastered as my gameplay footage is because Siege has a problem just as of recently. I don't know if it's been going on since the game's been out, where hit detection hasn't always been there when you needed it. So, if you fired and actually hit a player, the hit detection may not pick up. Like, with the kill I just got, I know it's Call of Duty and Siege are in two different lanes, but as far as the basic hit detection, it should be some type of shit that's there. So that's why they're releasing Operation Health. One of the reasons is because they're having a lot of matchmaking errors where players are just happening to get into lobbies. They might just time out for no reason. It might They might have a really good connection, but randomly time out. Um... They want to fix the servers on their end because there's a lot of glitches and bugs in the game <clears throat> that are causing players to actually fuck up. Um, there's also a lot of rubber banding effects as well. Like, let's say in Chilling with the Homies 8, there was a certain, I think, seed segment I did. And at a certain point, I ended up phasing through a random pole for about a good two or three seconds. And then somehow I slid out of a pole, phrasing. Um, I ended up coming out of a pole or whatever in a random part of the map. It went back to my original position, which is weird. And it's been happening on and off. Now, I have a really good connection. I just think it's something dealing with the servers as far as finding certain players' locations. Like, there, I was watching and I... Probably if I have the clip, I'll post it at the end of this video or as a separate separate piece. Um, there was a streamer I was recently watching. Um, she was playing on Oregon. Um, there's a part to a garage that you can go into. <clears throat> when she tries to repel and get into the garage, onto the garage roof, she ended up phasing through the map and went directly through the roof inside the garage. And she was caught um, off guard as well by, I guess, the little glitch or whatever. It wasn't necessarily a glitch, but she just phased through the fucking building. It was weird as shit. But I can't really speak on how Ubisoft is working behind the scenes because I don't work for them niggas. All I know is that supposedly they have three pillars where they're working on matchmaking, their technical issues, um, the game, core game mechanics on how they're going to polish it up, fix it, and also any bugs and shit that we actually reported in the last few months, they're probably going to jump on. Thank God we don't have to worry about the T-Pose glitch anymore because that the T-Pose glitch was fucking nasty. I do not want to go through that shit again where players are laying on the ground. And you can see the silhouette of the player, but the player's actually prone and getting kills. That shit is cheap as hell. But that's a whole nother issue. Now, a lot of people in forums, in comment sections of different videos and different things like that are pretty pissed off because the player's... The new MP, you know, our new operators are getting pushed back to August and November. 
uh, for season pass holders or just people that just want to buy them individually. Honestly, it's not really that big of a deal if, you know, when you actually buy these season passes or you want to buy the characters, you know, they do have a right to pull it back. This is their shit. You know, let them fix whatever they need to fix. It's, I mean, it's only three months. The season gets extended for three months. The characters get pushed back. But look at it like this. Because when August come around, we're going to, instead of us getting two characters, we're getting an extra character from the map pack that they had pushed back. So they split the Hong Kong map pack into two maps. So what they're going to do is, well, two, two different, between two different map packs. So we may get two attackers and a defender in August and then two defenders and an attacker in November. So it kind of works out in a way, but all this shit, as far as the operation health thing, is free. It doesn't cost the player anything. You know, it just costs us a little bit of time. But would you rather keep playing a game that's considerably broken on certain aspects? Or would you rather play a more polished and finished, feel like it's a finished game? A lot of the problems that's going on with next gen now is that a lot of these games are being rushed out due to either popular demand or a certain window you know, a, a certain time frame that they're trying to go by. But I'm going to just end the video here. The clip if uh, will play in the next few seconds. If you enjoyed the comment, I mean, enjoyed the video and think I should keep doing commentary, you know, let me know. It's been real. I'm up out of here. See y'all on the next video. You better eat a dick. He said, "Eat a dick." He said, "Eat a dick." You can't talk about TLC and uh. Left what? Right. The bitch dead. What? Right. What? 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 Did anybody just see what just happened? Yeah.